place and poor population. And there were a lot of children in the streets without anything to do. And the St. James Settlement, which is a, a um, religious uh, social work institution that, uh, social, uh, that provides a lot of services in the community, decided that the children there should be given some education. They could learn some skills in order uh, uh, to, to survive in the city. And this, this was around 1950s, when, uh, uh, but right after this, uh, a little bit after the Second World War, when Hong Kong is rebuilding. Okay. Um, this would be Queen's Road East, this road.
instance in Hong Kong, and that's around oh, one time. If you if you uh, kill this part, this industry in that district, right? Because it's very hard to relocate, they need ground floor street access to shop front. And if you build new buildings with shopping malls, inward looking shopping malls, they can't operate in a shopping mall. Right? They need the old uh, uh, kind of street street uh, very safe shop fronts, very tall ceilings, so on. And, and also uh, more relaxed building rules that allow them to operate. So they, they cannot actually operate in the new, really designed planned parts of the city. But without this cluster, all the interior renovation uh, industri industry and, and the whole, um, you could say, building industry uh, workers will find nowhere to find their supplies every morning. So they will have to go to Tai Kok Chun in, in Kowloon. But Tai Kok Chun in Kowloon is also under uh, urban renewal uh, uh, and being demolished and kicked out. So where do they go? They have to go all the way to the new territories in order to find this kind of very specific services. Because a lot of things cannot be prefabricated in China. Uh, for example, Hong Kong has a lot of uh, retail shops, a lot of uh, restaurants, right? There, there are a lot of metal work in the kitchen and all these things that, that has to be custom made. It cannot be prefabricated. And the whole industry that supplies this kind of metal, uh, custom made metal work is in this area. So you know, if you eliminate the industry in this area, you won't be able to reestablish that part of the whole production chain and you will kill a whole chain of, of industries. So it's, it's very important you understand that, that, that these kind of traditional drug-based industries developed in this area, they, they're very prosperous. So uh, in no way are they actually, uh, uh, you expect them to be dying or whatnot. These, these are not dying industries. These are, or, uh, the wedding card printing industry is very, very prosperous before the uh, demolition of the Newton Street that you, you've been uh, uh, learning about through the, through the uh, uh, documentaries. So that kind of industry is a prosperous industry that has been killed by urban radio. And these two other two industries are under, under threat. Now the Blue House neighborhood, um, I, I really want you to actually learn, try to learn about it through, through your experience of going there. What the Blue House neighborhood is like like the streets, for example, are uh, uh, of a very human scale. If you if you uh, stand on the opposite street of Blue House, the street would be not too wide, not too not too narrow, and you would be see, able to see your neighbors up there and the balconies, talk to them. Okay. So uh, it's a, and, and also uh, I'll tell you more about um, this community. And there used to be and is still. Uh, and this still exists, a herbal medical doctor's clinic. And it's Lam Zhang He, it's a very famous martial artist. He is actually the son of, you, you know the Kung Fu hero Wang Fei Hong? Wang Fei Hong's uh, first, uh, number one uh, uh, follower of Zhu Yu Wei, Wang Lam Sai Wei. Lam Sai Wei. He is Lam Sai Wei's son. So direct descendant from the Kung Fu Master Wang Fei Hong. And this is the original clinic and it's still there. Now uh, in Blue House. Now so you have you see Blue House has this community service aspect of it. The building itself consists of residential. Residential um, aspects. Community service aspects like this uh, martial arts school and herbal medicine uh, 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 clinic. There are also commu uh, 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 cultural spaces. For example, there was a free school for poor kids, pop up time. And um, the teacher of that free school actually lives in Blue House. And um, Mr. Chan, now still living in Blue House, is the, is the, fourth, uh, the third generation coming from this family. 